So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is relinquish my seat. We're gonna bring up our first special interview guest. Mm -hmm. Eric, come on up. All right, Eric, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, how are you? Good. So why are you interested in coming to our university? Um, so I've applied to several different places okay. uh, and everything, but this one is particularly something somewhere where I would like to go. It's close to home. Okay. I have family around and has a couple of particular interests uh, that I'm very interested in, such mm -hmm. as the specialties that I'm looking at. Uh, so um, I know there's a lot of strong residency programs associated with the school, and I really like the hospitals around here. So that's kind of what I'm looking for right now. Okay. All right. And. With regards to if you don't get in to medical school this year, what are your plans? Um, if I don't get in this year, um, I'll probably uh, continue taking another year off currently right now. I graduated a year ago. I've, um, I'm working at a, a pediatric medical, uh, as a pediatric med medical assistant okay. and um, you know, just kind of uh, trying to get some extra clinical experience and okay. everything. But I think I'll continue to do that for another year, uh, reapply, try to find out what my weaknesses are, and then hopefully try to find something that I can do to, do to get my chances up higher. Okay. And tell me a little bit about that clinical experience that you've already been working on for the last sure. year. Um, so currently I'm working in a pediatric medical uh, office and I'm a medical assistant so I'm just basically bringing patients back, uh, taking, th uh, taking their temperatures, measuring the baby's lengths, mm -hmm. and then helping out with the, uh, the doctor. Um, I try to get as much experience as I can, like mm -hmm. if we're kind of slow I'll try to see what the physical exam's like and mm -hmm. hopefully learn something. Um, also I'm the night clinic supervisor so I'm trying to get a little bit more of a management to see how it actually works and everything, which can be quite overwhelming. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing uh, sitting there dealing with patients and they're talking about insurance, and I'm like, I'm not really sure what that is. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and what have you really enjoyed as part of that clinical experience? Um, I really enjoy uh, basically uh, taking the patients and which re really, you know, they're having babies and so they're very excited. So I like being a part of that excitement. Um, we, uh, we haven't had like really anybody that's gotten too sick, but when it does happen, when you're worried about it, I kind of feel like I want to do something, but I, I don't know what to do at that situation. So I'm kind of like, I really want to know, well, what should I do if this patient's mm -hmm. coming in, they're running a the fever and you know, the baby's crying and, and I don't know what's going on and I would like to know how to fix that problem. So, um, but other than that, the experience is, you know, it's, it's awesome. I, I feel like that's, this is something that I really want to do. Okay, all right. Um, what are you really looking forward to in medical school? What am I looking forward to? Um, well, the you know the first two years that's I, I've heard that's a, that's pretty grueling, especially the second year. My my friends tell me about that, um, but I'm really I'm really looking forward to I guess the experience, like really getting to apply some knowledge that I've learned before. But uh, you know I, I'm just excited to get my journey started t towards medicine. Really. Okay, great. And where do you see yourself in a particular area in medicine, or are you not sure right now? Um, particularly right now, um, I really like orthopedic surgery. That's kind of the thing I really okay. like, but I'm really open to anything. Okay. Uh, I think I want to teach um, when I finally get out of uh, medicine, or get out of my residency and everything. Okay. So I really enjoy doing that. Okay. Um, but. Um, you know, I'm open for really anything right now. Okay. Are you going to teach and also practice? So? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely going to be practicing, but I, I do want to kind of, you know, continue on teaching because I feel like when I was going through, uh, or I'm, when I'm going through the process, it's just, you know, I get lost a lot, so. Okay. Okay. And um, what do you mean by getting lost a lot? Uh, you know, just kind of... Uh, I don't know who to turn to. I don't know who to talk to about you know this certain you know this, these these processes. Like when I was applying through AMCAS, I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to write. How am I supposed to get my letters of recommendation? So that's something okay. I've always thought about. Okay. And do you have a pre-health advisor at your institute? Um, yes, we do. Okay. We have, actually have a committee. So. Okay. And have you met with him or her? Uh, yes, I have. Okay. And they didn't help you through the process. They did, uh, but uh, you know, I, I just started uh, and everything, okay. so uh, I'm just kind of looking forward to you know, I guess trying to figure out more information. I, I probably should talk to them more about okay. the whole process. Okay, that's good. 
And do you have any family that are physicians currently? No, I do not. I'm actually the first generation to go to college, so um, this is kind of stepping out of the boundaries, I guess. Okay. So, but um, Great. yeah, I think this is what I want to do. Okay, good for you. Okay, thank you very much, Eric. <laughs> yeah. <So> stay put. <laughs> Now, Eric, we're going to keep you in the hot seat, though. I can see you sweating a little bit. This, light, this, this light. does happen in a real interview. How's, how's about the bronze look? <laughs> I tend to do that to my students, too. Oh, no, only man. kidding. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> now, Alicia, apart from the, from the obvious preparation, which, as we said, does happen in an interview sometimes, what was your impression of, uh, of Eric's interview? Um, he kind of seemed like a little bit of a lost soul. I was a little concerned. Um, <laughs> so I was a little concerned about his pre-health advisor too, not necessarily helping him out. And then he, you know, mentioned that um, he may need to go see them more frequently, um, which I would agree. <laughs> um, you know, and then obviously when you're having an interview, um, I would not have your legs um, that way um, it's not very formal um, you know and then it goes back to my kind of philosophy on the suit he's missing the suit jacket so I think he would be fine if he did have a suit jacket uh, so I would add that and you know when I asked a question he didn't really necessarily answer the question so when I asked the question about what do you really like about your clinical experience I wasn't getting what he was liking about his clinical experience. Um, I was getting more so what he didn't like about his clinical experience. So making sure that you're really listening to the interviewer and answering the question that you're being asked um, because that just shows poor communication skills um, and that comes out <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> so those would definitely be some things to work on. Um, and. A lot of his answers were just very um, at the surface. Mm -hmm. They didn't go into depth about your experience or I wasn't feeling your passion, mm -hmm. you know? And so if I were to feel your passion or someone else's passion, you know, if it was you versus somebody else that showed me passion, I'd probably admit mm -hmm. the um, individual that's showing the passion. So it's really important to show that you have passion and have that come through to the person that's interviewing you. And I think that's a, a wonderful point, that passion really is what the interview is all about. Mm -hmm. I'll acknowledge that it's a little difficult to show that passion in a mock interview setting yeah. like this, yeah. uh, where we're, we're sort of uh, being a bit more general by necessity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I do want to touch on a couple of the things that you, you called out in Eric's interview. Um, first off, the, the attire. So you mentioned that the, the suit jacket was, was absolutely necessary, but mm -hmm. apart from that, he's fine. Mm -hmm. But you also touched on the idea of his, um, of his posture. Mm -hmm. uh, really that it was just a bit more informal mm -hmm. than, than mm -hmm. you, would, you would like as mm -hmm. an interviewer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's like we're all, he's ready to have a conversation with a friend um, as much as I'm sure all the interviewers would love to be your friend eventually. <laughs> that's <laughs> It's not the time or the place. So um, once again, being conservative and being formal, this is the time to do it. Excellent. I also want to touch on the idea of the, you, you mentioned that when he was talking about his clinical experience, mm -hmm. rather than talking about what he enjoyed about it, he focused a bit more on, on the negative. Mm -hmm. What kind of a red flag does that raise for, for you as an interviewer? Mm -hmm. uh, not just apart from the communication, but mm -hmm. in terms of his, his uh, I guess I would say his perception of the field of medicine. Mm -hmm. um, I'm obviously a little concerned about his intentions and why he's going into medicine um, because he's telling me everything that he doesn't like versus everything that he really loves and this is why he's applying to medical school. Um, so it is making me question okay, why are you applying to medical school if you are, you know, a part of clinical experience and you're not really liking any part of it? So. Excellent. I don't want to harp too much on Eric, so give us a few <laughs> good things that he did too. Um, some good things? Um. <laughs> <laughs> He started off saying um a few times, but then he stopped. Um, so <laughs> I made that a negative and then a positive. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, I would say there's more things to work on, potentially. I can't really think of a lot of <laughs> things, and I feel pretty bad. If I may, he, he certainly seemed comfortable. 
Yeah. Maybe too a little comfortable. too comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. All right. Mm -hmm. Eric, any, any final thoughts from you? How did you think, feel it went? Um, so I feel, I feel like mostly that, uh, you know, I, I, I tried to come in, you know, acting, I was, you know, like I was confident in everything. And, uh, so, you know, I feel like that would be something that you would, you would want to show an interviewer mm -hmm. is that you do feel pretty confident Absolutely. in your answers. You yes. want to be, um, you know, try, uh, trying to be, I guess, as formal as possible in your mm -hmm. answers, trying mm -hmm. to, you know, give them a chance to, to understand, not try to mm -hmm. speed through your yes. interview or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So, um. I, f I felt like that's one thing that could be potentially positive about <laughs> Absolutely. It. But, I agree. Uh, you know, the, the purpose of this was to show, okay, you know, even though to, uh, the audience it may seem like, oh, he knows mm -hmm. what he's talking about, but to mm -hmm. under the microscope of somebody that's really trying to interview mm -hmm. or somebody that's uh, look uh, really putting you, you know, mm -hmm. out there against other people, mm -hmm. you can definitely tell a difference between, you know, who really has passion and those mm -hmm. that are just like, I'm here, I'm just trying to get in med school, you know, so, mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, otherwise, you know, I, I agree with everything you said. I kind of just wanted to, you know, just act like, you know, I hit on the points that I wanted to as far mm -hmm. as going through the interview, but then you brought, brought up some th things that I thought were positive mm -hmm. and apparently that is, you know, not positive, so. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, well, lesson learned. Yeah. Let's give it up for Eric.